Welcome to HGC TV's Ask Your Agent, where HG Christie representatives update you on all that's hot and happening in the Bahamian real estate market. I'm your host, Sandra Kemp, and today we are with Albert Thompson, who is a broker and appraiser with HG Christie right here in gorgeous Nassau, Bahamas. Good morning, Albert. Good morning. So we are in the West, and the drive coming out here today was incredible. And we're going to spend some time talking about why it's a good idea to invest in the West. That's right. I, I hope you took in all that you saw as you were coming it's here. Beautiful. The roadways make it so convenient to mm -hmm. come out to the West now. Mm -hmm. A nice scenic drive. Also a very nice scenic walk out in this area of New Providence. Mm -hmm. So you take in all the flora, the fauna, and of course the gorgeous beaches mm -hmm. that we have out here. Oh, and it I just never get takes you away. It. It, just, it, it feels as though you're far away in another place, but yet you're so close to everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what people do invest in the West, what kind of returns on investments and things can they expect? Well, what typically happens in the West, um, a lot of persons either invest as a second home mm -hmm. or they invest for rental income, um, sometimes of course for their primary home. If you're looking at it for your primary home, most persons are looking at the quality of life that they're going to have in mm -hmm. terms of seeing the beaches, having access to a lot of the restaurants and the amenities of the area. From an investment standpoint, they're looking at something usually of a rate of return between 6 and 10% mm -hmm. if they can get that. And they usually can because the rental appreciation rates here are good and of course the returns are very high as well because of course the capital that you have to spend to get a property will be higher than in most other parts of the island. But of course, for resale value and the type of rental income that you're mm -hmm. going to get, yeah, we'll you will get see that. that when you when you get back your, mm -hmm. your returns. Great. So what kind of amenities can people expect in the West? Okay, there are so many. You have restaurants, there are pubs. Of course, you have um, churches as well. Mm -hmm. And of course, in addition to that, you have um, hotels, casinos, mm -hmm. so many things to do out here. Yeah. Um, there are also art galleries and fitness centers. Mm. So basically, everything that you need to do is in the West. Right, right. There are even office complexes as well. Some of them, of course, have real estate firms like our own HGC West office that's in the Oford Bay mm -hmm, Town Center. Which is beautiful. Exactly. And you also have, of course, um, law firms, accounting mm -hmm. firms, mm -hmm. and a lot of ancillary services as well as offshore banks. Mm -hmm. So there, there's so much to do out here that you really don't need to leave this area if you don't need to, yeah. if you don't want to, yeah. really. It's really, really developed a lot in the mm -hmm. last few years. Yeah. And Sandra, I spoke about hotels and casinos, mm -hmm. but we can't forget that name called Bahamar. Bahamar. It's coming. It's coming. It's yes, shaping you can up see it's there. It's changing the skyline mm -hmm. of Western New Providence mm -hmm. and will soon be completed in December mm -hmm. 2014, of course. Mm -hmm. And you'll have such that. names like the Grand Hyatt, the Rosewood, the Mondrian, and of course now the Malia is out there as well. Mm. So you have some exciting developments taking place in the Western yeah. Energy Providence. It's going to be great. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to seeing that. Yes, more restaurants, more shows, everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what are some of the communities that people can invest in in the West? Well, there, there are many. It depends on if you want a condo or a house. Mm -hmm. For condos and townhouses, you can look at Columbus Cove, of course, mm -hmm. Love Beach Walk, and of course Bay Rock. Then you have other developments that are also gated, such as Charlotteville, Lightfoot Key, one of the oldest, of course, mm -hmm. here in New Providence, Old Fort Bay, Albany, and South Ocean Estates, if you want a vacant lot wow. where you can develop something. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, you have Indigo and Saffron Hills, so a lot of, a lot a lot of choices. choices. Yeah, yes. yeah, and all of them are gated communities now because that seems to be the trend mm -hmm. for this part of the island. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. This is great information. Yes. If you would like more information about investing in the West, please give Albert Thompson a call at 242-322-1041. Or you can find him online at www.hgchristie.com. My name is Sandra Kemp. Thank you so much for joining us on Ask Your Agent, along with Albert Thompson. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.